Hi guys, I'm just going to do a, um, a little, uh, another little experiment with the boom gel stay. Um, just got a um, little bit of yellow paint left over that was the bright yellow and it was from, it, it's the um, Montmartre Studio Acrylics and I'm going to use that as um, my base coat for a little bed of um, a little bed of the boom gel the boom gel stains that I've loved working with so I've got some really nice colours this is the pearlescent red and eclectus green which I'll go through as I use them but um, yeah just just some more testing to see how far I can push this paint to do uh, different things because it's a paint that you don't have to it basically was made I believe to do the bloom effect but it's a no-brainer in that you don't have to put all the ingredients together yourself they're all put together in um, in the bottle so the only thing that I've done is I mixed some of the black boom gel because um, I'm going to use this as my top coat and I added a little bit of the um, oh sorry sun's just turned up a little bit of the uh, uh, boom cell enhancer so, so I just added two drops of that to the black paint so we'll see just another test again it's experiment art lab day so we'll just go go with the flow so I'm using I've got a piece of card underneath this that it's just um, from packing I have other ideas for this piece of card but for the time being I'll use it as my drip tray um, so I've got my u little um, Montmartre's it's a potter a pottery banding wheel so you can spin it around and I'm just finding it useful to put a canvas on and be able to maneuver the canvas I probably should um, I could put um, a little bit of um, sticky tape under there to make sure it holds in the right spot I suppose I should um, but I'm gonna risk it for a Swiss kit so what I'm doing to begin with is I've just got the Montmartre Studio Acrylics which I, there was just the one last remaining paints that I have that I've mixed up this week so I've got no more pre-mixed paints um, so I'm trying to clear my decks of, of the paints and um, start again for next week probably a whole different colour palette but um, anyway anyhow this is what I'm doing today so I'm going to put the real nice bright yellow something really nice and vibrant to um, go on the bottom on your bottom so I'm just not worried too worried about the uh, edges at this point in time because it's going to be um, I'll just go with the, go with the flow hey go with the flow Joe so just find these I should I actually should find something that I can keep it stable on this I know I mentioned it last week when I first used my little spinny wheel I did put a board underneath it and I take the board to it which is a really good thing and I definitely should do that but I'm gonna just risk it at the minute see how we go I'm gonna put another little bed of that there just gonna try and see what we get these really nice bright colors so this is the pearlescent charcoal so I thought that would go really nice with the nice yellow so I did want to do several blooms but I'm just gonna stick with the one at this time this is the Banksia orange so they are this is it they're kind of no-brainers you don't have to think about it you just pour them straight from the bottle you don't have to mix all varnishes and house paints and so on and so forth it's just an well 
I'm calling it my um, my lazy bloom <laughs> because um, I haven't been mixing all the colours up I've just got this easy way to do it now so go for it but it creates all different sorts of uh, looks that's what I was going to say so that was the eclectic green and then that was the pearlescent red so I've got a lump on top so I'm going to put some of this that are just the black with the cell activator or the cell booster I think it's called on top Let's see what we get if not I'll go to the swipe so what I'm using for this one I'm going to use my straw this is the this is the end that you would normally use to suck out of if you were putting this in a soft drink because it's nice and soft but I found this is good because it's got the bend in it for pushing the cells out every which way. So here we go. Ooh, making some strange noises there. Never mind. So you can see those nice uh, sort of lacing starting to happen. Might just give it a little touch with my little heat wand. So all of the products I'm using, my Boom Gel Stain, the uh, Montmartre Acrylic Satin, uh, yeah, acrylic paint, and my heat wand, I have a link below the video and they're on the Australian online uh, shop. Uh, Capriol Shabby Chic. I have a link to, I should have a link now for the boom gel that can direct you to the US or Canada um, and also a link for the um, Mart. So just have a go with my little heat wand, see how we go. Hey, well it's actually coming out quite nice so don't really want to do too much more so I might give it a little tilt see if we can get I don't want to lose it take this away for now I don't really want to lose that kind of flowery effect but um, might have a go with my skewer. So I just use the uh, flat end of the skewer just, just to see if I can get any pretty, no more prettiness out of it all. But basically you've got all the cell and lacing from this without any of the headache that I can see so many people getting frustrated trying to get this bloom technique but this is just the easy no brain way <laughs> of doing it. So for the people that like simplicity this is your go. Oh I actually like, I like this, I like it. What I'll do is I will run some more of the yellow around the um, sides. And I know after a while this will lace up even further. Seems to, I'm going to get rid of these messy bits. kind of like the um, big jellyfish isn't it 
it's pretty I like it let me know what you think guys but uh, you know it's kind of one of those no-brainer things that you don't have to think about it's all done for you. you don't have to mix paints and try and get the recipe right you're getting blooms no matter what so I like simplicity so I'll just run my fingers around the edge I'm not spending time trying to do it with a spatula because I'm a hands-on kind of person I like getting my fingers in there and some of the paint I want to just thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to do so, please do so. Press the little subscribe button. And also, if you'd like notifications, make sure you press the notification button. If you have already done it in the past, please just check because... YouTube has had a bit of a wobbly and lost some subscribers and the notification bells. Um, so, there you go. I know you will let me know what you think. I mean, that could be took a lot further than that, but it's quite pretty. It was so simple and that's what a lot of people really want to do is to be able to do abstract art simply no brain away so i do recommend the boom gel stains because as you've seen on previous um, pores that i've put on my youtube channel they do brilliant swipe techniques with lots of lovely lacing and nice cells they've got some absolutely outstanding colors that i love so i'm giving them a go so why don't you see what you see what you think okay thank you so much for joining me until next time guys i'll see you soon and bye for now i will give you a close-up that's what i'll do Hang on. Ooh, hoo, hoo. see the camera held still I'll just turn it around for you so you can have a little look see oh I will put on the end of this particular video some of the pieces that I've done in the last week or so dry because so many people are asking me to see the dry versions but say that they're not on uh, Facebook so I will try and post dry ver little videos of the dried um, versions that I've been doing recently so that's very pretty it stands out so if you were doing a big canvas and you did a few of those blooms along the canvas on a diagonal you can it just looks so effective so happy pouring guys please let me know what you think and again i'll let you uh, i've got the acrylic cart by jilly cube facebook page that you can join me there and until next time bye for now a little video of the um, dried piece it's absolutely dry so beautiful vibrant um, I'll leave it to dry off obviously for uh, another week or so before I give it a coat of the um, pouring resin that I've done before and those colors will even will pop even further but it's dried beautifully it's all stayed in place a gorgeous little paw gorgeous little paw look at those cells stunning stunning that was with the uh, Montmartre clear craft glue and Montmartre paints beautiful I did this painting uh, maybe about a week ago 
and it was just over leftover dark blues that I had left in the, and I didn't film it. I had a few odd colours left so and then I just swiped with that gold in it and it's just come out so stunning so I will have to do one where I do it on video and hope that it comes out like this one. Obviously it had lots of balloon work, rolls and slides and all sorts of things, but it's absolutely a lovely little piece swiped in the bright gold. Just a quick video to show you how my big, 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 big canvas that I did yesterday uh, as a commission pour is turning out. It's obviously not dry. It's dry around the very edges, but it's not dry, but it is drying beautifully and I'm really happy with it. I did work on it quite a while after I finished filming, um, just adding uh, more embellishments because I know that my purchaser um, would rather have cells that are made into flowers than just cells so I was trying to add a lot more detail and there's just so much in this piece I mean it's really it is really gorgeous I'm very happy with it so I'm just absolutely sure that my client will be really happy because it's it's just gorgeous yeah it's just so full of life you could pick up so many things in it it's really lovely hey. uh, stretching it out it's gorgeous 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 so I'll just leave it here for another day on the paint desk and then I will um, move it to my drying rack. Just didn't want to move it at all just yet. Um, but it just means when you've got such a big piece drying that I can't use my table to do any more. But yeah, it's lovely. Look at it. It's got, yeah, it's just very whimsical fantasy garden. Just take this one last bit up this side. Okay, if you haven't seen the video, the link will be at the bottom of this um, post. So have a little squizzy how it all took place. Thank you.